It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Carolina Panthers. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Eddie Pinheiro about set to get us going, and we are underway here in Charlotte. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Well, the Chiefs offense going to make their way out, and at the helm, a now three-time Super Bowl MVP in his eighth season in the NFL, it's Patrick Mahomes. I think it's safe to say that at this point in his career, there's really nothing Mahomes hasn't accomplished by this time. Three Super Bowl rings, three Super Bowl MVPs, two league MVPs, a couple of all pro nods, and a passing title. When you lay it all out, it doesn't even sound real, especially when you consider the fact he's not even 30 years old. Now he has a sight set on being the first quarterback to 3 P. If there's anyone who can do it, it's certainly him. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Pass on the out route caught by Smith-Schuster. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. They'll run for the first time with Kareem Hunt. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. To throw, it's Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hunt. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A gain of nine there. Sets up second and goal. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, but sometimes the execution isn't there. And Hunt will find his way in for a Kansas City touchdown. 
It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Extra point attempt here still to come. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So the drive there took six plays. And Kareem Hunt, the one to finish it off, as he did so with a touchdown run. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Panthers head out for their initial drive and at the helm is their second year quarterback now, the number one overall pick from 2023, Bryce Young. And he's certainly coming off a very tough rookie campaign, but he showed flashes of why he was the number one overall pick. Now starting over in year two with a brand new coaching staff, I expect Bryce Young to show the world his talents in full. Off the play fake, Young. Open here, Adam Thielen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. On play action, Young. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. And we got an injury here. And I believe, yes, that's the wideout, Adam Thielen. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Here now, second and four. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. That run's successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the 33, here's second down and seven. They'll run here, the former Longhorn with it. And not much running room. Down to the 32. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there. And now it's fourth down.
So Young will head to the sideline and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. A very good move, but for a short gain out near the 32. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. On fourth down, Matt Ariza is sent on to punt. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now Young. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll look to throw here. Escaping the pressure right. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Looking to throw, Young. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. 
but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Now Young. It's caught by Sanders. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. And they'll come up second and seven. Young going to give to Brooks. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They went with a nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. They go play action. Young. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It was Leo Chanel who got in to drop him. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. to throw young they'll set up the screen here for hubbard and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. i wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call he just got sacked on the previous play he knows they're coming after him again a little bit of guts to stand in there take the hit and successfully complete the screen pass really well done now play number eight on this drive and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third now here's Young. Eluding the pressure right. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They run out of the gun with Brooks here. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 51 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. He had some nice running right there. That's what got him the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. Hubbard is into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal, but we all know field goals aren't going to cut it in the NFL. So they're not going to be denied here, and they wind up punching this one into the end zone. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run.
Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 34. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. Yeah. Defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Mahomes going to throw. That's to the first-round pick, Xavier Worthy. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And third and one now. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And Hunt is not going to get there. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. Matt Ariza now on to punt this one away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. He'll get this complete to the running back, Hubbard. So nothing doing there, and that's going to bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's second and ten. A give up the middle. Hubbard pushes past him. Fighting through it, he's got space. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Young working out of the gun. That's the rookie first-round pick, Xavier Leggett. And he goes out right around the 39. I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested, but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely. They pick up the catch. Not much yardage afterwards. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. A run out of the gun with Brooks. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. 
Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17 yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. On play action, it's Mahomes. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. So first and 10 now from the 30. Young. Yeah, quick throw there he is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. From the shotgun, it's Young. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Oh, 
On the give, this is Hubbard. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. This is second and eight. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Third down, Young from the gun. On the slant, he's got Sanders. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They'll bring a tight end in motion right. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. Second and ten. Now Mahomes gives to Hunt, shedding through the defense. A second broken tackle. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. A good chunk of those yards came after contact, and that's an area where he's really starting to excel as a running back. It felt like he was doing a drill that running backs have to perform all the time, especially in pads, called a gauntlet drill. Two guys, you know, people with these two rows. You have to go right through the middle of them and make sure you take care of the football and knock people aside. He's performing the drill on that run. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's going to find his tight end, Gray, complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 29-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Looking for Gray and finding him once again. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the 24 now, here's second and six. In motion goes the tight end. And again, it's Mahomes. 
Oh, it's intercepted. A drive kill there. And the Panthers are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Following the interception, Young. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Over the middle complete, it's Sanders. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Young to throw it. And once again, this is Sanders. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. They'll play fake. Now Young. Left side here to Sanders. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That one unable to develop. Never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game. Scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 67 yards rushing for him now to this point. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Out of the gun, it's Young. Quick hitter here, it's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And Sanders has got it complete. And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now Young. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here. This has been death by a thousand paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet. And they're able to move it down into the red zone. 
Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. It'll be Young again. And it's incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Young. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. And Xavier Leggett. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Into the hands of Hendershot. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Able to find Gray here. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half.
Mahomes to throw once more. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And they will not cut into that 10-point lead. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. One second, all that remains. And they'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. So it's halftime here in Charlotte with the Panthers out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A 10-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Panthers offense and Bryce Young headed back onto the field. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Young now from the 50. And that's complete to Sanders. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Throw left side complete. That's Sanders. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not only going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 35, here's the second and nine. Young. Got a man, that's Legale. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 
It's a gain of 35. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Throwing, Young. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. And Xavier again, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Mahomes now to throw. And the catch made by Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Man, he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll get this down to the 36. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he'll get it inside the 35. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 
And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle ended up making the play. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Right there in coverage, Xavier Woods. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will close the gap down to 14. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that, because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Panthers' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. To throw, Young. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. Going up top. The guy's man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 38. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Right back to Hubbard. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Looking to throw, Young. Now he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. 
Boy, every time I see speed like that off the edge, Charles, I just don't know how these offensive linemen do it. They, I would think that they would get called for holding every play, and maybe they should have been called for holding on that one. Yeah, maybe not just holding, but sometimes you end up setting back in the offensive backfield a little bit farther to try and help you with the edge. That's a penalty as well. Sometimes you overset, they'll come inside of you. That's what speed does. It disrupts an offense, and right now, you've got to pay attention to this edge rusher on every single down. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he will cover up as he's touched down after a short game. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. They work now on second and nine. They'll send the tight end in motion. Now Mahomes had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it, trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Mahomes going to throw. And this pass caught by Gray. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. And again, it's Mahomes. Looking for Gray and finding him once again. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 63 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's into the hands of Worthy. So just three yards on the completion there. 
And it'll be second down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. To throw, it's Mahomes. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. So five yards here, five on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And incomplete. He dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there. Second down. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. And was this game announced as a night game prior to it? Maybe his rhythm confused. is just off. He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. He'll get this complete to Worthy. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make the play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game but it winds up incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll try and run for it. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Fourth and two in the NFL, not ordinarily a running down anymore. Usually that ball is moved through the air. They went ahead and gave it to the back, and he ends up picking up the first down. I'm not sure if they fooled him as much as they just did a nice job executing. Needed two, and they got three. Caught left side, Hopkins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 25, here's second down and two. Hunt will try going up the middle. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now here's Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hunt. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. On third down, he'll drop to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. 
And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. So that's going to move them half the distance. First of all, you can't jump in this situation, but think about your play calling now. Could easily change what you want to do and maybe make things a little bit easier. Hunt is in. Touchdown, Chiefs. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Extra point attempt to follow here. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And Kareem Hunt, the one to finish it off, as he did so with a touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Now Young, throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll run straight ahead with Brooks. He'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Here's Hardman to return. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field, and this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes the right read seemingly every time. 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. A carry here for Hunt. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That's now three straight plays of over 15 yards and three straight first downs. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Throwing now is Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. He'll drop to throw. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Probably smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Third and goal, and keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. They'll look to throw again. And he's going to go down, sacked back at the 13-yard line. Call it a loss of eight there, and it's going to lead to a fourth down. Fourth and goal. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And this one is right through. And that'll bring him back within four. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Carolina getting set to take the field. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal in the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end and you still have the lead. They'll wind up getting seven on the play and that'll make it second down.
A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. A give running right, it's Hubbard. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Here's Young. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and ten. They'll come up first and ten here. Mahomes to throw it. Finding Hunt. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Here comes second down. Mahomes will throw. Finding Kelsey. And he's got room. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down. Got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are in the field? Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Mahomes. Open man downfield. That's Smith Schuster. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. Here we go, first and goal. They'll run with Hunt. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. 
That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. From the two now, second and goal. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. Well, the crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. And things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Here's Mahomes. That's caught right side by Worthy. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Mahomes. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Defensively now, one more play to stop. What are they looking for? You want to take away their number one running option that you scouted and take away their number one receiver and see if someone else can beat you. Here it is. Fourth and goal. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, but they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Extra point right down the middle. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. I couldn't take the chance. This will be returned from the goal line. Well, this one party was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won. <laughs> and fun for us because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through.